Hello there. So, let's get this open. This is going to be an exciting thing. This came today from Yodel, who delivers stuff from Hasbro Pulse. And I think it should be the Return of the Jedi 4-pack. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, look at this. This is my first viewing of it. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. So you've got on the left. Got Reyes already have him loose. Lots of people already have him from the Jabba's Palace set. Look at this. Squid face, man. Velkin Tazeri. No, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Velkin Tazeri. And then we've got here. Tam Drengarin. Tam Drengarin. <laughs> Terrible pronunciation. So I've got two sets. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. Can you see what I'm looking at? Let's go widescreen, look at that. Interesting. So you'd assume inside these box sets, they will be absolutely mint and pristine, but you know, you never know. So I'm gonna check my packaging. Have a look at it anyway, because I wanna show you that. The most important thing for a vintage collection product. The card back and the figure in the bubble, but after that, excuse me while I just get rid of the box, I might open, open them, man. I probably won't open Reyes because uh, I've got him loose, you know what I mean? I don't need that. So, uh, yeah, look at that one. That squid head there, man. This is ex exciting stuff. And then you've got the barge there to my uh, my right. So I want to do this now because uh, the sun is setting and everything. So I'll be opening both sets, obviously, because... I want one of the figures loose and one of them carded, but obviously I will be ex inspecting them to start with. Let's have a look at these in the flesh. Nice to see the unpunched cards. There's you got the fifth, 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. This is Tam Drengarin, if I'm pronouncing that right. This is the guy who Luke shoots, or no, shoots Luke and then Luke finishes him off, obviously, or arguably in anger, but can't wait to get him loose to see that face and stuff. That's awesome. Look at this. Wow. Interesting stuff, man. And then on the back. Yeah, look at this. You've got Kithaber, Tessic. It's basically all the guys, except you've got Woof on the back there as well. Salt Marai. Great. Let's have a look at this guy. Yeah, Valken Tazeri. This guy has been asked for for a long time. And now we got him. Look at that. That's the power of campaign, isn't it, really? And voice and three and three quarter inch is taking a bow right now. We were almost down and out at one point, replaced by another scale. But now it's like, I'm so glad that TVC is kicking ass, you know, in HasLab and wherever else, because it is the original scale. All you six inch people who left, look what you've left behind. Went off to six inch, look at this. <laughs> There's a few YouTubers out there, I'll never forgive them, man. They bloody used to be all about this, and then they went off to that. And now I'd like to think they've got their tail between their legs, because this is what it's all about. Look at this. This is Tessic. Look at that. I'm going to get the other guy off the shit. He's not too dissimilar to the one I already have. Let's have a look at him. I will compare him later. Because that was always a really good figure from the Power of the Jedi line. But that is great soft goods there. Classic Tessic car pack. I have a vintage 80s one on the uh, in my carded room as well. And here's the back. Wow. And then here is Re. This is the weird one. Very strange. I mean, I suppose many people might not have got him because he came in the Jabba's Palace playset, whatever you want to call that, with Han Solo Carbonite. But um, very many people. Did, but look at that unpunched as well so that's good you get an unpunched card and it's a variant of sorts with the 40th anniversary logo back should be the same now what I'll do is I'll get that lot open then I'll do a bit of comparison to check I'm opening one that doesn't have any damage on the card back for example there might be a tiny blemish on one of them and then I'm gonna crack these open now man why not let's do it There's, there's Reyes. Don't have to worry about opening him. In fact, I'll show you Reyes right now. And my version of Reyes is this one, which is, I think he's dropped a blaster somewhere along the line. I'll have to find that. But yeah, my Reyes 
is from the Black Series. <laughs> yeah, I, no, no, I'm lying to you. This one came from Tungori, actually, so he might have some kind of superficial damage, but do you know what? Look at it, it's, it's the same figure. Ain't any difference there. Ain't any difference there. Even the weapons look like they're as plain as ever. And I don't know what happened to his other blaster, but I'm sure it'll turn up. So there is he. So he's done. That's that. Let's get Squid Out open. Wow. His skin is darker. It's um, it's more of a red. It looks more like the Quarren that were in The Mandalorian Season 2. Yeah, but a reddish skin. Mm. They could have made his skin look, well, even he has, but the what the, the vintage 80s one. This is Power of the Force 2. No, it's not. It's Power of the Jedi. The, the, the um, TVC one was a real beigey, well, almost a grey colour. Still, let me just double check which one I'm opening here. Because that's got like a dirtier bubble. Um, yeah, let's get him open. Let's do it. Here he comes. Always have a little sniff of the figure. He's got a weapon. Oh, it's just like the one that came with Tessic. The one I'm missing, actually. Is that really? The one that's missing from Tessic's hand is that, pretty much. See that little blaster there? That's all he comes with. Let's double check on this one. Yeah, it's in the bubble there. Right. And then the figure. Yeah, that's just a massive upgrade, isn't it? Fully articulated. Look at that. Let's get the weapon in his hand. All right. Yeah, man. And has he got ball joints? Look at the cloth there. Great ball joints there. He's just multi-articulated. Look at the nice, uh, ooh. There you go. Good joints there. He has got rocker ankles there as well, if you're interested in all that. Bumped on, uh, look at that from the back though. When Boosh comes in with Chewie, you sort of see him from that angle looking up the stairway. What's all the commotion? Right, so I'm going to have to relegate my uh, other one. Right, this guy here is going to have to get relegated. I'm going to put him inside the barge. The barge I always keep sealed, so you can't see the figures in there. But obviously he is in there, or will be, so that whenever I do open it, you'll have him sat by Jabba or stood by Jabba. That'd be good. That is Tessic. Let's get him on a stand. Oh, that's ridiculous. The peg holes are really shallow. Look at that. What happened there? Pathetic. I know he's got rocker ankles, but come on, man. Come on, Hasbro. Do do deeper peg holes with you, because it's pathetic. Anyway, so that's that. Let's get him there. Should I move him further back? I don't know. No. Great. And I'll go closer in on these later when I've opened the others. So let's have a look at this one now. Let's have a look at Valken. Give you a first close-up look at him. That helmet has to come off. I'll investigate. Oh, right, weapon. Let's see if I can get close on that. There you go. So it's a standard palace blaster that. Doesn't look like it's got it's getting dark in here, but it doesn't look like it's got any paint apps on it, but that's not that important. Luke's does. That goes in nicely there. That's good. So it's all the usual articulation points there. And has he got a little um, hinge on the, yeah, little hinge on the wrist there. Let's get this off. I want to see what this looks like. Ooh, can I get that out? Oh, Jesus, what am I doing? There's the joint there. I presume you can get that off. I don't particularly want to. Might be difficult to get back on again. I want to see what his face looks like, though. There he is. Look at that. There's his face. Wow. That reminds me of somebody. It's like a Roman or something there. Roman warlord or whatever. Battle man. Let's get this helm again. That's good though. Look at him. Now he's the guy, if I'm mistaken. There's a few people who go into the pit early on, and I think I know the name of the stuntman, but you see a, a blonde guy, his helmet comes off. It's not a, an alien, it's a human. One of the first people to go in. I think that must be Velcan, I guess. Now that guy didn't look blonde there, did he? But um, yeah, it's obviously a stunt man. 
I've got the name Peter somebody, isn't it? Peter some Hawkins? I can't remember his name now. But that's a cool figure. Oh, yeah, look at these peg holes. That's more like it. They're going to work. That's going to be great. Thanks for that, Hasbro. Let's get them on this peg stand here. See those pants there? That'd be good articulation there as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good joints. Yeah. Look at all that. Sorry, people. I, I, talking about articulation on a technical level does, level does nothing but bore me, so you're going to have to go to someone else's channel for that. But I just want to basically, you know the deal. If you're a collector of this scale, they articulate to the max. So that's all you really need to know, unless you, know, you want to know something anally. Uh, you'll have to ask me in the comments section, but um, and I'll get back to you. But apart from that, he's looking pretty good. I've put his gun in the holster. Come on, focus, man. Work with me here, camera. I'm in the pressure of time here. I want to get this video out and I'm racing before the sun sets. See, he's fallen over at the back. You rocker ankles people. Tell me what's good about that, man. Nothing. It's Bruh. shit. Give us peg holes that are deep so we don't have to have blue tack on the figure for number one and number two. You know, as it stands up, whatever, so without, you know, unassisted. There you go. There's that guy. I'm also going to put Rees back in because I did have him before. Where is he? Sorry about that, I got re there. And then the last figure to open is this guy. Who is it? Um, yeah, Tam Darren Garen. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is the guy that shoots Luke. <laughs> gets a shot off, gets him right in the arm. Really angers Luke. He seems frustrated. And then, which one am I gonna open? Let's have a look at both of them. Let's have a look because I'm trying to open the one that looks like it's in the worst condition. There's like nothing in it, so I'm going to um, open this one here. This is the last one. I'm going to get this video out because it's important, really. You know, it's new stuff. Get it out, man. Oh, and stay with me because I'm going to show you the back of the box packaging that was there because I've just had a look at it just in the corridor outside and it's got a lovely back. Let me just show you that now before we continue. I didn't show you that there. Yeah, it's a lovely back, that, isn't it? Let me just get a bit closer so you can have a look at that. There is some other languages there, and I'll read that to you. So it says, protected by skiff guards, Jabba the Hutt sail barge bustled with court members, henchmen, and dregs of the galaxy who attempted to curry favour with the grotesque crime lord. Brilliant. It's a long time coming. It's four years ago we got the barge, and now look at that beautiful set that we've got now. Look at that. That's so right. I mean... Best things come to those who wait, you know. It's great to get these things eventually, but that would have obviously gone very nicely the year we got the barge, really. Or the skiffs. Anyway, this is this guy. And, yeah, he's another good-looking figure, isn't he? Look at that. You know, well done, Asbro. Thank you for doing this for us. Thanks for listening to the fans. I mean, I know people who wanted these characters more than I did. I would have sooner have had people like Giran and stuff like that, but still, these are important. And... He's looking pretty cool. I might try and take his thing off as well. Does that come off a little better than the other ones? Velkins. And there he is. Look at that. He's got that medieval kind of look. Wow. He's not what I expected him to look like. I always thought the guy who shot Luke had a beard. But it wasn't a beard. It was just his face coverings or whatever. It's kind of like ruined my vision of what the guy was like. I don't know why I thought he had a beard. See, look over there, Velcan kind of looks like he does, but it's not a beard, obviously, it's just facial coverings, wraps. But there he is. Pretty cool. I'm going to do a shot at the very end with all of them. Slightly, yeah, deeper peg holes than our friend Squidhead. Tessic. But that's just the way the cookie crumbled in that department. Right there, there's more depth. Someone was arguing with me, saying that they couldn't put a peg hole there. Why not? They can put it on the heel, they can put it in the middle, where there's more plastic. Sorry, this is ridiculous. The camera's out of focus. See, right there. Whatever you call that part of the, the metatarsal or whatever, is it? I don't know, man. It's just it's crap right now. Anyway, so has he got a weapon? Yes, he does. He's got another skiff blaster. Let's give you a little look at that. 
pretty much the same as Valken's. There's no added paint touch-ups, which is fair enough. He doesn't look like he's got a holster. So he's going to have to have that in his hand. But that's cool, because didn't he have one in his hand in the movie? He certainly did. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that pose. Sorry, there you go. There's that pose there. Just giving you a quick overview. I'll be covering these figures in the future again in less of a rushed format. I'm just wanting to get the video out and I'm racing against the sunset. But now I'm gonna go on a little ride. We're gonna look at them each again and finish it there, ladies and gentlemen. This is a lovely four pack, isn't it? A little bit of Return of the Jedi before the year ends. <sighs> nice set. So this is Valken. There he is again there. Very nice. And the back of him. Oh, easy Tiger. Lovely paint application on the um, body there. Very nice. Absolutely stuffed out. We've done really well. We've got a lot of Jabba dudes now. This is an important character. This is of course Tessic, aka Squid Ed. Very dark. Um, Hello, skin there. Oh, I forgot he's not on a stand, is he? Uh oh, I was trying to turn in there. Oh, look, he's still standing. Hey, man. Oh. Maybe the uh, rocker ankles are good. <laughs> Maybe I just need more practice. Well, he has got blue tack on his feet, but he's standing up, right? Yeah. Maybe I'm changing my mind. Yeah, he's pretty cool, man. Look at the lovely soft goods there. Beautiful. And then next we have, of course, Tam Drengarin. I hope I'm saying that right. Very nice. He he's definitely definitely going on the roof of that. I've got people who shouldn't necessarily be on the roof. In fact, I've taken all my goons off there. I've only got Boba Fett up there. Usually I don't put Boba Fett there, but uh, this guy has to go on the roof. Look at that. Great figure. Nice. And finally, well, he's a bit boring. We've seen him for years now. But this is, of course, Rees. And apologies, I haven't opened the the one that came in this set, but they, they, there's nothing in it. He hasn't changed at all since the Black Series that I can see. If there is any differences, let, do let me know. Still got his boxing gloves there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you very much for sharing, opening that with me. That's really cool, isn't it? Great set. I'm going to leave it there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.